Hello guys and welcome to another Mortal Kombat mobile video. Guys, today we are back into the Nightmare Tower Battle 180. By the way, this video was supplied by uh, Gamal from the Discord server, so thank you very much uh, for that. Now, the reason why I wanted to share this video with you guys are actually two. The very first reason uh, lies in the fact that there is a talent uh, that, in my opinion, will be very uh, beneficial, very helpful in the tower, and this talent is Boris Stance, because uh, basically uh, when you stun the, uh, the opponent there is a chance that you're going to apply shield break and this is a very good counter to uh, the killer jacket and as you know a lot of bosses have the killer jacket it's really really annoying now the reason why I didn't test it so far is because I was too lazy to change my talents and anyways I was doing like all boss fights in two maximum three attempts so uh, yeah I was too lazy to change the talents but then uh, Gamal just said to me, you know what, I just did 180 in one attempt and I was using uh, Strike for Scorpion as my main fighter. And I was like, what? Strike for Scorpion? Now, granted, Strike for Scorpion is one of the best characters in the game by far, without any doubts. Nobody can deny that. However, I didn't really regard him as one of the best fighters. However, Gamal had his really, really great strategy, uh, this really great uh, way of using this character. When I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm going to feature this because it's really awesome. In case you have this character, but you don't really play with him a lot, uh, I would say that you should see this video because uh, it basically throws a new light on how to use uh, this character. If you haven't, of course, uh, used him in this way before. To me personally, I didn't. So, uh, I was very, uh, very lucky to see this video. Now, what's the point here? Gamal has some good equipment on Scorpion, but nothing fancy. He doesn't have uh, maxed out equipment or something. Uh, when I say equipment, I mean tower equipment, but uh, he has impeccable chaining on Scorpion. And basically his strategy is, he's going to break the shield of the enemy, he's going to get the enemy really, really low, and then uh, he's going to tag in a guy with brutality, in his case, classic Lucane. And Classic Lucane is going to finish the wounded opponent. And he's doing the damage, the entire damage using Strike for Scorpion. Pretty cool, guys. Now, what he's doing uh, is he always pass on the Flaming Sword um, combo ender. He always pass on this one, but he always do the other one. And after it, he immediately follows by Special One. And he's repeating the process over and over again. Cancels the first combo ender and then goes on the second one and follows the second one by a Special One. And since he has pretty good chance to um, dispel the shield or to break the shield, he can do that forever. Every time when he stuns the enemy, there is a very good chance that he's going to uh, dispel the shield, which means that he's going to to uh, get the opponent low on health pretty, pretty fast. And this is what he's doing. For example, currently he's punishing the enemy Quan Chi. Uh, as you can see, Quan Chi cannot do anything. He's uh, non-stop stunned. He doesn't have shield. He doesn't have anything. And sooner or later, it's a matter of time, he's going to get down on health enough so that we can finish him using our Lucane. And then we will repeat the process with the enemy uh, circle of Shadow Sub-Zero. Uh, so I don't know about you guys, but I definitely learned something new today uh, when I was uh, editing the video. It was pretty, pretty great strategy and I didn't know that uh, if you use the combo enders of Strike for Scorpion this particular way, you can basically chain his special ones forever. Of course, this will require some specific talents, no doubt about it. Okay guys, I really hope once again that you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Take care and stay safe. Perfect.